devout Pentecostal family is lucky to have escaped serious injuries this morning when the apartment they were occupying on Iguana Street caught fire. Amos and Juliet John, along with their three children, had just concluded a short prayer service at home and were about to have breakfast when the stove and gas tank ignited. The sudden blaze inside the small kitchen would ultimately result in a blast that rocked the neighborhood. The cylinder of beauty and gas had exploded violently, sending flames and smoke several feet into the air. We had our devotion this morning and afterwards uh, we went to the kitchen to put on um, some water and left the kitchen. And um, the biggest baby came to say, Mommy, there's fire in the kitchen and we ran there and indeed there was fire and we had to call 911. While waiting for emergency response, both parents quickly evacuated their kids, the fire raging at the rear of the complex. As um, we went in the kitchen and we saw the fire, the first thing that came in our mind was safety. We reached for the key, opened the door because we had two, the burglar gate and then opened and everybody went outside. My husband went back in to pick you know, some of our documents and we were waiting for the fire machine to come. But while we were waiting, I guess some people, they were all trying to, you know, to do what they could do with the water before the fire machine came in. Cause Inside the adjoining apartment at the time of the incident was off-duty officer Christina Chun. I was in the complex when I heard loud noise. I heard like bang. So I said, the people outside, they said that fire, fire. And when I come out, then I saw smoke coming out of the up apartment so and I hear a loud noise then I come out because I know one stay in the car I hear fire so that's why I, I know one get burned up so that's why I come up and while he too stood out on the side of the street along with spectators who had since gathered the fire department quickly sprang into action according to fire chief Ted Smith the call came in shortly after 10 o'clock we received and responded to a structural fire on Iguana Street on arrival we find um, number 16 at the northeastern portion of number 16, Iguana Street, on fire. The, um, the department immediately went into operation, contain and extinguish the fire. Preliminary investigation revealed so far that the occupier of the structure um, was using the stove. Shortly after he lighted the stove, fire was seen in the uh, back room west of the kitchen, the area that the um, fuel tank, the LPG tank is kept. And the fire spread from there throughout the rest of the kitchen. What are the extent of the damages either by the fire itself or by water? The extent of the fire damage is um, primarily confined to the kitchen area and the eave, the northern eave of the upper store flat of the structure. That is where the fire damage is uh, confined. Uh, there are soot damage that moves around in the room from the part of the apartment complex that he occupied. This structure is a two-story concrete and small portion of wooden in the, what you'd consider this um, store or laundry room area where he kept his beauty and tank. As with most house fires, the victims say that quicker response could have prevented the explosion because it was not instant. Of note is that a fire station is less than two blocks away on Dolphin Street. It wasn't immediate. It took close to like 10 to 15, 20 minutes. It wasn't an immediate thing. Um, yeah, if the fire engine reached on time, I think we would have, you know, salvaged. But it did good. Looking at um, the extent, uh, I applaud them. Give us an idea of the assessment that you've made so far. I know earlier you were waiting to go in to look at the damages firsthand. What damages have your property sustained? Mm. Um, basically, to me, the damage would be just the kitchen side and the extension to the kitchen. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.